welcome back to Jack's Tech Corner. I'm your host Jack and this is another video tutorial of Photoshop Elements 6 slash 7. The techniques I'm going to introduce to you today will work on both uh, Photoshop Elements 6 as well as 7. Uh, they really didn't change anything so it's going to work out well for you. First let me mention um, jump over to jackstechcorner.com and pick up a copy of the new DVD I just released it has some really great uh, Photoshop Elements video tutorials on there and I'm sure you really 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 love those. Um, they're high resolution, they're easy to see, a lot easier than YouTube because YouTube kind of blurs the video down a little bit, uh, lowers the resolution on it. And uh, for only $15 it makes a really great stocking stuffer. So head on over to jackstechcorner.com and look for that DVD today. I'm sure you'll be uh, very happy with it. Today we're going to go ahead and uh, I thought after creating pictures and working on pictures and doing different things with them, it's time now for us to enjoy them or display them or be able to share them with others. The best way I thought we could share them would be to actually create a slideshow. The first thing we need to do in a slideshow, I have an album here called Halloween 2008, is to actually take some pictures. So we're just going to uh, left click on the picture and on a Windows PC hold your control key down when you click and on a Mac you want to hold the command key down so just hold the control key down and pick out some pictures let's put one of the cat in there you know we like to give him a little bit of uh, publicity uh, let's get the kids being crazy now uh, we'll go through here grab some more and we'll end it with this one okay once you have your pictures picked out simply go up here on the right on these tools over here you got organize fix and create click on create and let's create a slideshow now right here we have static duration and all that means folks is how long will the picture be on the screen so we're gonna leave that to five seconds but you can change it I would never make it one second that's pretty fast a transition that is if you notice my videos when they open up the videos you're watching currently um, I got a couple opening screens and then they kind of fade away or they do a barn door roll that's a transition and if you look at these these are the different transitions in here if you like one in particular you can stick with one and every transition will be the same I like to make mine random next is the transition duration I like to leave it set to two seconds. That seems to be plenty of time. If you make it five, then people are sitting there looking at a, a very slow transition happening. Background color is a personal choice. Just click on that. You can have a background color. I don't leave it black. Apply pan and zoom to all slides. Now we're going to be looking at this just a minute here on how to adjust this, but go ahead and let it adjust it to all slides. You can remove it later if you don't like it. Now the captions I turn off. Make sure the audio captions as a narration is turned off. And repeat soundtrack until last slide. I leave that selected. This crop to fit, landscape or, or portraits, leave that unchecked. Preview quality is high. You can make it medium or low. You might as well leave it high. It's a preview quality. You want to make sure it looks good. Once you have everything set up, click OK. And Elements is going to go to work to build that slideshow. It's pretty fast. Here's our slideshow. Now, the first thing I want to introduce you to is down here you'll see a red and a green box around these pictures. Don't worry, these will not be shown on your picture when they're showing in your slideshow, so don't get thrown off. That is the pan and zoom. With this selected over here, you say enable pan and zoom. Now, I told you before you could shut it off, so if you uncheck that, there is no pan and zoom. The picture comes up just as it would, and it's there. Go ahead and turn on pan and zoom. When you click on the first one, you can see that's where we're starting. Let's start full screen. To end it, we're going to end this by pulling this box up here a little bit. And maybe just want to end it on the person itself. Yes, as you can see, that was me. I was handing out trick-or-treat candy. So, you know, I like seeing the little kids dressed up. I think it's really cool. Uh, my kids, as you've seen, some of the pictures are older now. They don't trick-or-treat any longer, so... We just uh, give give out to the neighbor kids and we get to watch them walk around. So that's always fun. Okay, enough of that. Let's go into the next picture. Do the same thing. Where is it starting? Okay, where is it going to end? Here, let's end it. 
like I say, uh, take some time on this. Play with this a little bit because it's, it's worthwhile. I mean, it's going to make your slideshow, you'll see here in just a little bit, more interesting. Here's the next one. This one, maybe we're going to start it uh, close up. Let's start a close up here. But we're going to end it full screen. Next one, you get the idea. Let's start on the cat's face. Look at this. We can go in really, really, really tight here. Let's get a little tighter. So it's going to start right there in his eyes. And when we're done, let's open up. It'll be full screen. Okay. Now that you get the idea of how that works, the next thing I want to show you is the little clip arts over here. These little animals, um, and you got other clip art down here, backgrounds, uh, costumes that we've played with before. You can use all these. You remember we used these before when we uh, took the person and changed it. We put a mustache and everything on. That was a fun uh, tutorial. But you can take these and actually use these little clips and um, put them on the picture itself. Just left click it and drag it. And you think, wow, that looks really big. It's kind of uh, distracting. Just pull it down a little bit. Make it smaller. Let's put it in the bucket like the monkey's looking up. That's sort of like that. And that's how you would use those. Very, very easy. Next, we're going to go ahead and we're going to click on Add Audio. And we're going to add the audio. Uh, let's see here. All you have to do is click on this bar down here. Click here to add audio. Your uh, browsing window will come open. And then find the file that you want. We're going to use Stairway to Heaven. One of my uh, more uh, interesting songs that I like. Now, you can uh, start and end here at different times. This is your volume for the music. You can adjust the volume down. Let's adjust it down a little bit. You can test it. Hopefully you can hear that play. So we can test it and make sure, yep, that's the song we wanted to use. Okay, good. So we're good there. The next thing we want to do with a slideshow, um, maybe I should have showed this to you before, was you want a slideshow to have something at the beginning. We don't want it to open with a picture. You notice my uh, shows that I create for you do not open with a picture. They open with a slide, a couple slides, giving you some information. So on Elements, you go up here and click on Add a Blank Slide. Now, the blank slide is right here. We're going to add some text. And let's add, um, Welcome to Halloween. Like that. We have down here, we have our fonts. Maybe we'll make that bigger. And you can just left click and move it wherever you want it. Now let's add another box, another text box. 2008. This way, this will open up um, when the show starts is when you want this to open up. And if you've seen when I clicked on add a new slide, look where it put it. Put it over here, way into the slideshow. Just left click and drag it to the left. Look how it's moving over. Left click and drag it over and drop it. Now it's at the very beginning. And with that one selected, you can now go ahead and get an idea of what your slideshow is going to look like just by clicking on this full screen preview. Let's go ahead and click on full screen pre preview and see what we came up with so far. There's our opening slide. Now look how it's zooming in. It's panning and zooming. Same thing. It's zoomed up. This one started with the uh, with my daughter and moved out. There's the cat. There's the cat moving out. There's a little monkey down there. You see how he fell into the bucket. Okay, with that said, we're going to stop this. Now, what we're going to do now is... I want to show you how you would save the project. Up to this point, we created it. We went through, we made everything, we created everything we wanted to create. Now we want to go ahead and output our project. First, I would always recommend saving the project. Uh, give it a name. Uh, I name it. I try to keep the naming everything uh, the same, normal. 
And when you name this, uh, it's really interesting because it's going to actually fall into your organizer. That's where it actually goes into. If you look in here now, well, we'll go back into the organizer in just a minute. Let's get through the rest of the slideshow here, and then I'll show you that it actually does put itself in your organizer so you can work on it at a later date. Let's go ahead and click on Output. Now we can save it as a movie file, WMV, that's a Windows Movie Video, and it saves it as a very small size, a web size. You can turn this up. I would suggest if I was saving it as a file, I would save it maximum, 1024 by 768. Yes, the file size is going to be larger, but it's a lot better quality, that's what you're looking for. You could do it uh, 800 by 600, also looks pretty good. Now these down here are for VCDs, if you're going to save this and then put, take this over into uh, like Photoshop Elements Premiere or something and make a DVD of it for your television set, that's what these are more or less for. Let's just leave it at maximum. You can also save it as a PDF slideshow. And um, I've never really played with that, but I imagine it would open up in a PDF reader like Adobe Acrobat Reader. Burn to disk is... Uh, more or less what I like to do with my videos. Here's one high quality works on TV or computer DVD. Now when you do this DVD you can see it's set to NTCS. Now for anybody it says in North America, Central America and Japan save these in NTSC. And I know I have a lot of you out there watching uh, over in the uh, European countries please set these to PAL or P-A-L. Uh, I guess that's just a video format that your DVD players are using in uh, your part of the world. So we didn't want to leave you out. We want to make sure we include everybody in these videos. At that point, you can actually include additional slideshows I've made on this disc in case there's uh, other slideshows that you want to put together on one DVD and then you click OK and it will actually burn that out and set you up to put that on a DVD. Or you can do a VCD. A VCD is a regular CD-ROM, but it changes it to a video CD-ROM. Most um, DVD players today will read these uh, VCDs. I have really, really good luck with those. Um, we have a newer DVD player here. And if you don't have a new DVD player, you know, folks, you can pick us up for about 40 bucks uh, anymore. You know, I think we got ours here. We got a pretty decent one for about $35. So they're pretty cheap. But most of them will play the VCDs, and that's so you can use a regular CD-ROM. Now, if you're one of the lucky people out there and you have Windows Media Center hooked up to your television set, you can send it to your TV. You can actually set it up as NTSC here, or remember, European countries sell up to PAL. And that will actually set itself up, and you can load that onto your Windows Media uh Windows Media Center Edition and use your remote and play it on your TV set. Or as you see here, send to Premier Elements. If you have Premier Elements load up on your computer, you can always send it out to Premier Elements. And uh, then you can do further work on it, more extensive uh, DVD menuing creations and that stuff. So that's how you save your work out. I hope that helps you out. You're going to have to play with it a little bit to find out uh, how this actually burns. Well, as you see, it creates a WMV file uh, when we clicked on that. Burn to DVD. And it does. It creates a WMV file. Okay. So, that is how we create a, um, a slideshow. That's the slideshow editor. Now, let's close this. Click OK. Now you see right here, there's our slideshow. It put it right in the organizer for us. You could even go in here then and you can mark this slideshow if you wish. Um, all you have to do is create a new album. Just remember how to do this a while back. Um, call it slideshows. There it is. Click on done. Then that way if you ever just want to pull up slideshows, you would have all your slideshows in one album. And you can right click on this and edit it, output it to WMV, burn a video CD. There's a lot of different things you can do if you just right click on this. 
Um, let's click on edit and you can see we can open it right back up in the editor and then you can start fooling around with all these settings again and uh, working on it. So there you go folks. I hope you've enjoyed creating a slideshow. It's a great way to get those pictures out there. You've been working hard and uh, editing them. I know you have. I answer a ton of emails every day. Uh, you leave great comments on YouTube. I really appreciate that. And please take the time to jump over to jackstechcorner.com and have a look at that DVD. Uh, it's well worth the uh, the $15. Um, you know, I waited until I had uh, enough material to build something that would be worthwhile for you to have by your computer um, that you can learn with, and it's a great, great tool. Um, and if you don't want to do that, by all means, drop over and uh, drop a small donation um, into the uh, donation pal. I mean, it is the time of year to give, and uh, you know, the way I look at this is if you're going to drop a donation in the donation pal, um, why not go out and uh, I'm sure around where we live there's a bunch of people ringing the bells for the Salvation Army. A lot of churches are accepting gifts right now. There's Toys for Tots. Or do something like that. Donate to one of those organizations and uh, maybe email me. Let me know you did. Uh, this is just like a community service message. So um, that's my word to you. If you're going to donate to the show, um, by all means, if you're trying to decide which one, Give it to the uh, Salvation Army or Toys for Tots. I'd much rather see the little kids out there have a Christmas. I think that's so important. Well, take care. Have a really great day, and I hope to see you back here very, very soon. Um, once again, I'm your host, Jack, and keep those uh, cameras clicking, keep the editors editing, and you'll be a pro in no time. Take care. Bye for now.